that PJ might have spun first and Meunier got into him as he was spinning. Uh, we'll see if we've got another look at it and see if we can tell exactly what happened. There you can see PJ Jones is sitting sideways and ab above him you can see that there has been some contact and the hood is already off. We, we really can't tell whether PJ went over him first or, or whether they got together. PJ may, they may have gotten together and PJ ran over the top of his car and tore the hood off. That may have been the problem, but we can't tell either way. A lot of drivers, Larry, are wearing the Hutchins device, uh, one of the uh, devices that is being used to uh, help prevent some uh, whiplash, and that's uh, what they were doing there on uh, Travis's car. Yeah, that, uh, that device is a new one. Uh, to supposed to be as good as the Hans device. I'm not sure I understand exactly how it works, to be honest with you. The Hans device appears to me to be a lot better structurally than, uh, than this Hutchins device does. He appears to be okay, is walking around and talking with the safety officials, and looks like Travis is going to be okay. Dave Steele, Casey Kane, Michael Lewis, Aaron Fike, and J.J. Yaley. That's the running order as we near the halfway point of this 100 lap feature race. We'll be back with more in just a moment from Irwindale Speedway in California. Just about to go back to racing here at the 61st Turkey Night Grand Prix. 71 laps have been completed right now, and we are about to go back to competition. Dave Steele is the leader of the race. Casey Kane is running in second position, and a couple of cars have dropped out here recently. Billy Bone is through for the evening, and so is A.J. Davis. They're the top five now. Steele at the dead. front of the field. Tony Ave, Dane Carter, A.J. Fike, Bobby Easton, Dave Darlin complete the top 10 we can go further than that Josh Wise is running 11th and Teddy Beach Ryan Scott Cole Carter and Thomas Meserol the top 15 16 through 20 Drew Pollock James Jessen Steve Payton John Nervo and Danny Eberts running in the 20th position the only other two cars still out there Robbie Block and Shane Scully green flag comes back out here we go once again and each time Dave Steele has been able to get a nice advantage at the uh, restart leaving these other guys to battle for position behind him. Yeah, he really has a, his uh, race car handling very well, especially on the bottom of the racetrack, and he gets a great jump off the, on a restart. He just literally pulls away about a quarter of a car length every lap. He had about, uh, you know, 10 car lengths when that last yellow flag came out. That is Yaley in 91 and Fike in 32. Longtime promoters of auto racing here in the Southern California area, the Agajanian family and J.C. Agajanian Jr. with us here in the booth tonight. And we're delighted to come here every year and see this midget race, which as every, anybody who knows anything about auto racing knows, this is indeed a very prestigious event. Well, thank you, Bob. That's really true. And, and it has crowned more champions, and we've had more people out of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway uh, win and races there. And they've come from these ranks. And in fact, you know, tonight, uh, Ford Motor Company is here, people from NASCAR, people from CART, people from the IRL are all here looking at these 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds, these 20-year-olds. Uh, yeah, they're young, but they know how to put their foot down on the throttle. And I'll tell you what, this is these are tomorrow's champions. And in fact, Parnelli Jones won the Indianapolis 500 for J.C. Agajanian in 1963 and came back and won the Turkey Night in 1964. A very prestigious event. And I'll tell you what, a win in this event really uh, is big in your portfolio. Last year when Tony Stewart won it, I'm sure you, you talked to the audience about the fact that he said his open wheel career was not complete without a turkey neck win. And he said that with tears in his eyes. Too. Uh, that's, that's right. J.J. Yaley, by the way, just took third position from Michael Lewis. And we talked about Billy Boat falling out, and of course your brother involved with his uh, IndyCar efforts, his IRL efforts. So we were uh, very proud to make an announcement on RPM tonight, just the other, just a couple days ago, that Billy Boat and Mike Kerb and Kerry Agachanian will be involved together, and Billy's going to be a partner on the car. And we're just real excited about next year's uh, IndyCar racing. Tony Abe there in car number two has moved up to sixth position. Remember, he won one of the qualifying races and has done a very, very nice job behind him. That's AJ. Fike at 69 and Dave Carter at 77. And AJ Fike started way in the back of this thing. He started from back in 24th position. So he's moved up. Uh, he's probably gained more spots than anybody on the racetrack. And he's only uh, about three spots behind his brother in another black number 32 right up there in front of Dave Carter. 
mentioned the uh, J.C. Agajanian winning car in 1963 with Parnelli Jones as we take a look at the leader of this race, Dave Steele, who continues to enjoy a nice advantage over Casey Kane. And, of course, J.C. Agajanian was also involved in a winning car at Indianapolis back in 1952. And, boy, those were some great years. Bob Jenkins, <laughs> you know your Indianapolis racing history, and you're absolutely right. In fact, I believe uh, that Troy Rutman still holds, holds the record for being the youngest driver to That's win the correct. Indianapolis 500. And then, of course, Parnelli. My dad was uh, very famous for giving a young driver a good piece of equipment to go racing in. And he would find the Troy Rutmans and the Parnelli Jones and and all the rest uh, that that have been in his stable and he would take a young driver and, and in fact he found Parnelli uh, really slopping around in the mud is where he really saw him uh, in, in Gardena California and, and said this guy's winning races uh, where other guys can't keep the cars straight and uh, he was he was able to and you know what my brother Kerry Agajan is very good at spotting young talent as well and, and that's why he and Mike Kerb and, and Billy Boat have decided to, to go racing. JC Jr. Thank you very much for coming up here and spending part of the race with us and we uh, congratulate you and your family on a great job of continuing racing traditions here in the Southern California area. Well, Bob and Larry, it, it's my pleasure, and believe me, we're proud to carry on J.C. Agajanian's tradition, and, and we're going to continue it, and, and we, we appreciate you guys being here. Good news. We're glad to be here. Twelve laps to go, and Dave Steele continues to lead the 61st Turkey Night Grand Prix, Casey Kane second, and J.J. Yaley's third. the closing laps here at Irwindale as Dave Steele continues to pretty much dominate things here tonight. That is Danny Ebert. So he is putting another lap on. Ebert's lost a lap earlier and now goes two laps down to the leader. Ebert's running back in the 20th position. But he is going to increase his Western midget points lead because Alex Harris did not make this race. And uh, Josh Wise, who is running in ninth position, is going to gain a few points here, but Wise was 80 points behind coming into this event. Now a couple of the Lewis cars battle for a second. Kane and Yaley. That's Yaley in 91. Oh, and he got very loose coming off of turn number two over there. It looked like Kane first got a little loose, and then Yaley got very loose. So both of those cars have a little bit of trouble. There's probably some oil out there. The other thing we have to be uh, cognizant of, they might run out of fuel. They're very close on fuel at this racetrack, and they have run some laps that didn't count down through the infield. So uh, some of these guys might be running low on fuel coming close to the end of this race. And this may bring out a caution as Cole Carter is almost stopped here on the main straightaway coming very slowly down. And with seven laps to go, the caution comes out once again. This is going to bunch up the field and may make for some good racing here in the closing stages. And they will stop counting laps uh, at 95. So they must run the last five laps under green, not consecutively, but under green. So if this stays out to lap 95, they will stop and that'll make the fuel situation even worse. Cole Carter getting out of that car. Looking underneath it, obviously something has gone mechanically wrong with it. He's shaking his head. <laughs> yeah, it looks like maybe he's looking at the rear end. He might have just lost uh, the drivetrain or the rear end gears or something like that. And just no, uh, no drive to the rear wheels. All right, they'll come down this time under caution and complete lap 95. We'll stop the counting of laps and we will race to the checkered flag when we come back and to Irwindale. About to go back to green to finish it up here tonight. Dave Steele leads. Kane is second, then Yaley, Lewis, and Fike running six through ten as we're about to start counting the laps once again. A.J. Fike, then Ave, Dane Carter, Josh Wise, and Bobby East. A.J. Fike started 24th and is currently running sixth now in October. He came from 16 to finish sixth, right behind his brother Aaron. And he's right behind his brother Aaron again. And believe me, he wants to pass his brother. There's a lot of rivalry between those two. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Aaron's had a little more success. He's won a couple of races, and uh, he'd love to blow him away, believe me. Well, let's see if we can get the final five laps in here without a caution. Here we go as Dave Steele stands on the accelerator, and we're back to racing with five laps to go. Keep in mind, 
As Larry indicated earlier, we may have a fuel problem because many laps have been run under the uh, red flag condition. They go to the infield and don't count some of the laps, and so a lot more than 100 laps are going to be completed before this is all over. And J.J. Yaley has taken second from Kane. He certainly has. Kane tries to move down and take that position back, but he can't do it. Michael Lewis in that red number 11 also right there in the thick of things. But right now, Yaley appears to be the only guy who might have something for our leader, Dave Steele. Yaley won the 2001 USAC Stoops Freightliner National Sprint Car Championship and is running second here tonight. There is Lewis at number 11 and Aaron Fike at number 32 as they run fourth and fifth. A.J. Fike is behind. And now they come down to complete lap number 98. Two more laps to go. And it just appears that Dave Steele is just going to do what he's done. Every yellow flag so far tonight. Just walk away from everybody slowly but surely. In 2001, Dave Steele has two silver bullet wins, two sprint car wins, and he, with one more lap to go, is on his way to possibly winning his first midget car race of the year. And that's a Mopar-powered car, one of only two Mopar-powered cars in this whole field. So, uh, obviously, they've got that thing figured out, too. Dave Steele off the corner, takes the checkered flag, and wins the 61st running of the Turkey Night Grand Prix at Irwindale. Yaley finishes second, then Kane, Lewis, Aaron Fike, A.J. Fike, Josh Wise, Dane Carter, Dave Darlin, and Bobby East. Those are your top 10 finishers. Wow, Dave Steele. His only USAC national midget win came in 1998 at the night before the 500 until tonight. And he wins here really in a dominating performance. Dave Steele will be back to talk with him in just a moment. From Irvindale Speedway in California, Dave Steele wins it. Onboard cameras are courtesy of CarQuest Auto Parts. For your local CarQuest Auto Parts store, car what? call 1-800-492-PART. Well, let's go down to victory lane and Ray Dunlap, who's with Dave Steele. Well, Bob, he took the lead on lap 20 and never looked back. A dominating performance, and guess what? You finally got a turkey night. Yeah, fine. I mean, when, when this midget race, I mean, means a lot. This is a really big race, and uh, just can't say enough about my car owner, Dino Tomasi. Uh, you know, just gives me a good car to run. And uh, once again, got to thank Mopar Performance. You know, the Mopar has come a long way with their midget, you know, just in this last season. And Gary Sand has been doing a pretty good job. So, uh, you know, and I think it just hopefully gets stronger from here. And uh, Beast Chassis, I mean, the car is working good. And, uh, you know, with the help of Penske Shocks, able to enable us to put around the bottom there. And uh, I think we was able to run down there with not a lot of other guys could. So, uh, you know, Beast car worked good. And, finish line toll and just can't just trying to get everybody in there but it's pretty exciting for us talk about how big a victory this is you won a couple of races in other divisions this year this is your first midget win but it came here in front of a big crowd at Irwindale yeah like, like I say uh, you know to win here on Thanksgiving I mean I probably have uh, turkey and some truck stop tonight but uh, it's all worth it to win this race it's a big race uh, pays good money so uh, um, like I say just a good good win for us okay congratulations we're gonna go over here and talk to a couple other drivers uh, Casey Kane who well he just got away from us here Casey come over here you had a pretty good car tonight but it just wasn't enough for steel no Dave was really quick uh, I didn't know what to do he passed me and I tried to you know right at the end there I tried to go up high just to see if there was anything I didn't think there was but I didn't think second wasn't I didn't care if I fell to third when I was running second so I guess uh, you know I just give it to those guys they did a great job and I gotta thank my guys they, uh, they did a good job here in uh, Ford Racing, Beast Cars, and Team ASC. Thank okay, you. five wins for this guy this year so far in 11 races. That's pretty good. But the big win tonight goes to Dave Steele, Bob. And J.J. Yaley finished his in second position. That's his best career midget finish on pavement. Prior to this, his uh, best finish was at Phoenix in March when he finished in third position. So let's take a look at the top 15 finishers. Steele, Yaley, and Kane, Michael Lewis, came home fourth, and Aaron Fike beat his brother for the fifth position. In sixth spot was A.J., then Josh Wise, Dane Carter, Dave Darland, 
and Bobby East completed the top 10. Then finishing in 11th through 15th, Teddy Beach, John Nervo, James Chesson was 13th, Steve Payton 14th, and Drew Pollock finished in the, sixth, in the 15th position. I know you just got your hat off, but I'm going to 